The Elder Scrolls Online just turned 10 years old on PC. And to celebrate this major milestone, the team threw a massive two-day long event in Amsterdam. With the next chapter, Gold Road, launching in June, this celebration had hands-on previews with the chapter and its new scribing feature, panels with the devs and voice actors, food, drinks, and a really great swag bag. Let me just start by saying that this trip, and by extension, this video, was made possible by my friends at Bethesda, with my hotel room being provided by them. And this was my very first time traveling to any part of Europe at all. So I packed my bags, triple checked that I had my passport, and set off on an adventure. I took off Wednesday night, landing Thursday morning, several hours before check-in was available. I had an exclusive hands-on event for Gold Road at 2pm that same day, but with several hours to kill, I stuck my bags with a friend at the hotel, drank as much coffee as I could find, and then we walked from our hotel into the city. Despite being a little bit groggy, it was a great adventure. Getting to see all the canals and waterways, the windmills and different houses, it was a great way to start off the day. Knowing that most of my time here would be spent at the event itself, it was nice knowing that I was still getting to see at least a bit of the city. After getting back to the hotel, we hopped on the shuttle and headed to the event space for our press preview, where we got a sneak peek of Friday's keynote presentation before getting to play Gold Road for ourselves. One of the key features for this year's chapter is the new scribing system, which acts as a way to create your own customized combat skills. I'll be talking much more about scribing here on YouTube when Gold Road releases in June, but if you can't wait till then, you can always swing by the Twitch streams, where I'll be talking about it and even testing it once the playtest server releases later this month. After the press event ended, we headed back to the hotel, where I could finally unpack and get settled a bit. And more importantly, I could open up the swag bag that they gave us. The messenger bag itself is really nice, and inside was the exclusive event Golden Bantam Guar plush, a coloring book, a commemorative coin, a t-shirt, and in-game codes for the Golden Guar and a brand new emote. The room was really nice. I like any excuse to have a king-size bed all to myself. And it took me a minute, but I did figure out how to turn off the RGB bed lights. I then went out with several of my creator friends who were also at the hotel. And before we knew it, it was 11pm and we decided to call it a night since we had a busy day ahead of us. Friday marked the first official day of the event, starting at 12pm and running for a total of 10 hours. As soon as you walked in, you were greeted by a ton of key art and concept art from the past 10 years. And a massive diorama, with the Imperial City in the center, surrounded by depictions of the three Alliance zones. Just to the right of this was a massive Elder Scroll, protected behind glass, to discourage any would-be thieves. Having been invited as a creator, I also got access to the tavern, which served as a bit of a lounge and quieter place to hang out. Like the rest of the event space, the tavern was meticulously designed to really feel like it was right out of Tamriel. In addition to the various panels taking place throughout the day, you could also sign up for a few different hands-on activities, including leatherworking, alchemy, and calligraphy stations. I was able to get into alchemy on the first day, and I even had Wes Johnson in my group. We were walked through making our own little potion of heroism, from mixing the reagents to bottling it and even sealing it shut with a wax seal. For each of the activities that you completed, you'd get a stamp on your event book which would give you a turn at the claw machine. The nice thing about it was that each turn at the claw machine was a guaranteed prize. I won a few keycaps, one of which I've already got on my K70 core. I also signed the massive community book, did one of the photo ops, and I caught one of the developer roundtable talks. Having met Wes Johnson at last year's Las Vegas event, and working together on some charity events, I got to spend some time with him throughout the day, getting to talk to him about ESO, the Elder Scrolls community as a whole, and to see him so excited to talk to everyone was absolutely a highlight. 
And we're already talking about some charity stuff for this coming June. Friday ended with a live concert from Matt Heafy of Trivium, with him performing a ton of different covers, ending the show with Peaches from the Mario movie. I remember thinking at the start of the day that 10 hours was going to be way too long, but honestly, it was over before I knew it. The second and final day of the event was a bit shorter, starting at 11am and running till 5pm. Even by the start of the day, everyone I know was saying that they'd love for next year's event to have a third day. The first thing I did was the leatherworking station, where we were walked through making a leather keychain, getting to cut out one of the strips, polish it, and even stamp our name of choice. One of the main stage shows for the day was the cosplay competition. One of my friends went as Abner Tharn, and there was a really incredible Arcanist cosplay too. And as a last minute entry, my friend Nine cosplayed as creative director Rich Lambert. A little bit later that day, I joined some friends for a family feud style game show, which we were a little nervous about since we were going up against the UESP team. And by some miracle, we won by a landslide. After spending so much of Friday running around, it was nice to just relax a little bit more on Saturday. I got to talk to more people from Bethesda and Zenimax Online, hang out, and meet up with some people that I had missed on the first day. But before you knew it, it was over, and we found ourselves shuffling towards the entryway and saying some of our goodbyes. I opted for a bit of a quieter night, going to dinner with just a few friends and taking this very last opportunity that I had to see a little bit more of the city. I was back in bed by midnight, and the next morning I finished packing and made the journey home. The Elder Scrolls is such an important part of my life. I started with Skyrim over 10 years ago now, and I never could have guessed where this series would take me. I've been making YouTube videos for over 10 years. I'll have been streaming for over 9 years this summer. I first got the Elder Scrolls Online because it was a way for me to see the other provinces, to have so many more quests to play, but I didn't really become a part of the community for years. Even now, as I approach five years on their official stream team, and having streamed it since long before then, I still have those moments where I wonder just how well I fit in. And events like these really help to put some of those worries to rest. And I know ESO isn't going to be for everyone, but I always recommend giving it a shot. The stories, the characters, the world, and the exploration. Even if you have no plans to get into the more MMO-style content like Dungeons and Trials, there's still so much for the people who just want more story content to sink their teeth into. And who knows, maybe you'll wind up like me, and learn that you actually really enjoy the group content too. But once again, I want to thank my friends at Bethesda who made this trip possible. Having the hotel provided for it was what made it so that I could attend the event. And it really was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat some of the cheese that I brought back from Amsterdam. 